Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome inside the Crosby Palace at the Edward B. D. Bergen Complex, Crosby High School, high atop Pierpont Road on the east end of Waterbury, Connecticut, as we have a heavyweight matchup between two teams up at the top end of the standings in the Naugatuck Valley League as the 12-2 visiting Holy Cross Crusaders take aim against the hosting Crosby Bulldogs sitting at eight and six on the season overall. Both teams head into the state tournament. Both teams going in different directions at the current point in the season. But one trying to avenge a loss way earlier in the year, all the way back on the 20th of December. So we should have a good one on the way. We're mere minutes from the tip off of this one before we get started. There will be a ceremony honoring Crosby senior big man Jason Robinson. So stay tuned for that one. And then we'll get to the action after the introductions and the national anthem. But you are listening to DET Sports Media. And you're watching us also on YouTube and public access TV in the city of Waterbury. Stay tuned for this matchup in boys varsity basketball in the city of Waterbury. Mic check.
So now as the buzzer sounds, we direct your attention to center court as Crosby Athletic Director Dave Ironimo will present the award. So the award being presented by Crosby Principal and Athletic Director to Jason Robinson, Senior Guard for the Bulldogs who crossed the 1,000-point threshold just last week on this floor versus Ansonia. Tonight's NBL matchup will feature the Holy Cross Crusaders versus the Cross Bulldogs. The CIAC and NBL promote good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting the participants in a positive manner. Inappropriate comments directed to players, coaches, or officials could be cause for removal from the contest. Thank you for your support and good luck to both teams. Now, everybody, please rise and remove your caps for the play of the national anthem. Now we direct your attention back to the benches for the starting lineups being announced by the Crosby PA announcer. Introducing first the Holy Cross, number zero, sophomore guard, Elijah Parker. Number two, senior forward, Joe Dane. Number three, senior guard, Peyton Mullins. Number four, senior forward, Deron Fordman. And number 11, senior guard, Zach Lashke. Holy Cross is coached by Ryan Olson. Number 30, Junior Center, Terrell Taylor. 
Number 25, Junior Guard, Jaden Benjamin. Number 11, Senior Guard, Captain Andre Arrington. And number 14, Senior Forward, Captain Jason Robinson. The crowd is coached by Nick Montelli, assisted by Nelly Medina. All right, folks, welcome back inside the DET Sports Media Broadcast booth as we are just about underway, or just about ready to get things underway, I should say, as the starting five for both teams, Holy Cross, and their traditional road green with yellow numbers and lettering with a very senior-led squad with only one sophomore in the starting five, and that's Elijah Parker. And then we have Joe Dane, Peyton Mullins, Derone Fordham, and Zach Blaschke rounding out the starting five for the Crusaders. Meanwhile, on the other side for Crosby, it's youth as we have some juniors, sophomores, and two seniors sprinkled in. That's Jason Robinson and Andre Arrington. And then there's Curtis Ellis, Terrell Taylor, and Jaden Benjamin rounding out the starting five for the Bulldogs in their home whites with blue lettering. Officiating crew tonight, Ed Daniels, Mike Bardella, and Andrew Magazine as they set the stage as the tip is up and it's fought for and won by Holy Cross as they run out of the scrum with it and right into the action is Elijah Parker getting us started with his first field goal of the night and now instant pressure right out the gate for Holy Cross now as Crosby able to break it now into their sets inside Taylor loses the handle he's tackled out of bounds it looks like we have a foul here on Holy Cross to start things off so Dane picks up the foul. First and first on the team, Crosby inbounding on the baseline. Is now the quick trigger three from the corner air ball. No good for Benjamin and quickly back the other way, the Crusaders. Another three ball, second shot of the night, no good for Parker. And now Ellis looking to push. One on three, able to break the D and score for two and knock things up early. And now quickly back, Holy Cross, nobody checking inside Fordham as he's able to get the bucket and the foul. And he's heading to the line for a chance at a three-point play. So Taylor picking up the foul early into the free throw line, Fordham. This place settles in. You could hear a mouse in the palace as the free throw is a miss. But an offensive board for the Crusaders quickly down the other way. Offensive foul as Taylor rolls the dice but comes up a winner. And the foul is on Parker, his first. And the charge going back the other way is Holy Cross showing that 2 2 1 zone press in the backcourt. Now Ellis and Benjamin playing catch, trying to find a seam. And they did for a moment. Now they cross the timeline and break it. Ellis now inside. Taylor having a rough go at handling the rock early. A fight for a jump ball. And Crosby will keep possession, but Taylor's got to get the butter off his fingers early with two bobbles to start. But now Crosby underneath. Ellis will be the point man. He'll inbound it underneath. Now Benjamin receives and up top to Robinson. They swing it around the horn. Ellis with it in the corner. Holy Cross waits in a 2-3 zone. Quick trigger three in the corner from Ellis. No good. Gets his own rebound. Robinson pulls the trigger from deep. No good. But another offensive board. Ellis kicks it out. Benjamin drives. Kicks. And now they'll resettle it would seem. They'll swing it around. Now Ellis tries again, same corner, short this time. And the rebound, Holy Cross, they push. Mullins pulls it back, gets it again in the corner, giving go, and nails the three. So Holy Cross opening things up, up by five. Robinson now drives in, tacks the D, and lays it in for two. So Robinson making that one look easy. It's back the other way. Holy Cross comes with it. And Crosby waits in a 1-2-2 zone, it would seem. 
As Robinson up top is now it morphs into a 3-2. As Holy Cross trying to figure things out as they take their time. As now Parker drives, kicks, Mullins thinks about the three but pulls it back. Robinson up top checking Parker. As Holy Cross taking all the time in the world on this possession. Luckily no shot clock in the valley. As they swinging it around, now pulling the trigger, missing on the three, a second miss, no good for Parker, but the rebound and put back for Foreman for his second bucket of the night. And the lead, 9-4 with five minutes to play in the first quarter. Robinson breaking the press now, and he's fouled underneath by Foreman, Fordman, or Fordham, sorry. And Crosby will inbound it underneath on the baseline to our right with just under five minutes to play. So now Ellis into Benjamin. Benjamin to Robinson, left open, pulls the three, no good, but Taylor with the big offensive board going up. And he's fouled on the miss, so he'll head to the free throw line for a pair. We'll see who the foul is on. Throw Taylor to the line for Crosby, shooting two. So I believe that foul was on Parker. That's his second. That's the case. It's now Taylor, first free throw is up and good for Terrell as he'll have another one coming. Now second one's up, good. Two for two at the line for the Bulldogs and they cut the lead to three with 4.50 to play in the first quarter as Holy Cross walks it up. Crosby stymieing that track meet they tried starting early by getting back into their zone defense to slow things down. His pull up, up no good for Fordham. It's now Benjamin pushing the other way. Holy Cross got back, but not all the way. Is Ellis able to hit the reverse and cut the lead to one? Nice look there by Benjamin. As now Crosby waits in that zone. It's Holy Cross overloading one side of that zone, looking for some kind of opening. There's a short pull up. Might have gotten a piece of it was Taylor. Knocked out of bounds, last touch by Crosby. Crosby bench doesn't agree with it, but it'll stay this way. Holy Cross underneath. It's now first substitution of the game for either team. Out of the game, Dane. Now Matisse into the game for Holy Cross, number 14. Is inbounding it is Mullins. And now Crosby in a man-to-man -man out of the inbound. It's now the three balls up. No good, Robinson rips down the board and pushing it up is Benjamin. He'll pull up from the edge three. No good and it's rebounded by Holy Cross as Matisse pushes it. Pass a little bit too long and luckily that one was out of bounds. Turnover because Robinson was ready to run with it off the steal. So now another substitution for the Crusaders. Gunthrop coming in for Blaschke. as they still show that pressure in the backcourt to slow Crosby down. Now Robinson one on one, he'll take that all day. And he gets bumped on the take by Matisse and head into the free throw line is Robinson for a pair. He had a strong take as he had the one on one as he doesn't see those very often. As now Robinson heads to the line with a chance to take the lead if he hits both. The first one's up and nothing but nylon. Able to connect with one more to go. And it's up and good, so Crosby remains perfect from the free throw line. Taking the lead 10 to 9, three and a half to go in the first quarter. As Crosby defense gets back in the 3 2 zone, giving Holy Cross all kinds of problems. They just wait up top and settle for a long shot in most instances. Is now trying to fit it in underneath. 
was Parker, but a kick ball violation on Crosby is another substitution for Holy Cross. Roberts checking into the game. Mullins taking a rest. As the bodies keep coming for the Crusaders. As underneath, Roberts, who just checked in, will inbound it. Trying to find space underneath. And it is turned over. And no, it's going to stay here off of Robinson. Is now the inbound trying to go for the lob, but misses. It leads to a breakout. Ellis now finger rolls it up and in. So Ellis, six points on the night, leading scorer so far. And he grows Crosby's lead to three with three to play. Holy Cross still working it around, trying to find anything at all. Now driving baseline, but blocked. Offensive board, but a foul. Second foul on Taylor. But a big block from Robinson as driving baseline was Roberts, but erased at the rim. And now that foul was not on Taylor. So the to the free throw line, high arcing shot, no good for Fordham. As frustrated with himself, he'll head back to the line. Try to cut the lead to two here. As the second one's up and short again, Taylor with the board. And now over to Robinson, looks to push a little bit, get some pace involved. Crosby working it around nicely, open look for Benjamin, up no good. And off of the hands of Taylor, trying to save it was Ellis and going back the other way are the Crusaders. So Crosby sticking with their starting five up until this point, but getting to the bench as I speak is C.J. McCray to the scorer's table. As Holy Cross walks it up, trying to find an opening in this 3-2 zone. It's now jab step pump fake, nice move there, but runs out of space for Robinson, picking up the foul there on the block. And Holy Cross will inbound it underneath. That's only Crosby's second team foul, or third, I should say. There's now a couple of substitutions. McCray and Anderson checking into the game for the first time for the Bulldogs, giving Taylor a rest, as well as Benjamin. Now wrap around inbounds, three balls up and short. Offensive rebound from Matisse and Holy Cross pulls it back out. Now edge three up and good. Three. For Holy Cross, so Gunthrop with his first bucket of the game. Dangerous pass for Crosby, but they break the pressure. Three balls up, unable to answer, no good. It was Arrington, and last touch by Holy Cross, it'll stay this way. It's now into the game for the first time, Vaughn Grubb, and Joe Dane checking back into the game for the Crusaders, giving Fordham a rest. And Vaughn Grubb, sharp shooter into the game for the first time for Crosby. As Ellis inbounds it to Robinson. Robinson, short little shot, gets it to fall, and he's up to six. He gets right back on defense to check Parker right up top of the key. Got to be careful not to reach as now Anderson got a little too aggressive there and a blocking foul there on Raekwon Anderson, his first. And to the free throw line goes Elijah Parker for a pair. Now Parker to the free throw line for a pair with 95 seconds to play in the what's been a clean first quarter, all things considered, as the first shot is up and good. For Parker, as he'll get another one and look to tie this game up. And he does with his fourth point of the game as now Holy Cross pulls out a new pressure, a little diamond back court. Try to get Crosby out of sorts, but they break it easily. Grubb, not the man to leave, shoots the corner three, no good. But McCray comes down with the offensive rebound, and he pulls it out. Now goes to Ellis, pump fakes in the corner. Now gets it to Robinson underneath, and slices through, but leaves it short. And now back the other way comes 
Holy Cross, but Crosby gets back nicely. As they swing it, might have gotten away with a travel there. Steps inside the three-point line, misses. That shot was Gunthrop, or excuse me, Roberts. As now Crosby pushes, breaks the press easy, skip pass. Now corner Grubb, three balls up, 0 for 2 for Vaughn Grubb. And now no one man to beat. And Parker gets the bucket and the lead for the Crusaders now by 2, 16 to 14. Now the pressure broken by Crosby. Grubb with it up top, 30 seconds to play in the quarter. Tries the three ball from the corner, and that one is good. So Curtis Ellis up to nine. Now is quickly back the other way, Holy Cross. But Crosby's defense gets back, 20 seconds to play, and Holy Cross will look to hold for one, it would seem. Now driving baseline, getting inside to Matisse. Open three ball, good for Roberts. His first bucket of the game, five seconds in the quarter. Holy Cross by two, Anderson able to get it through traffic. Grubb for three, no good for Vaughn Grubb. And that'll do it for the first quarter of play. Holy Cross in a back and forth quarter. Holy Cross leading 19 to 17. And what should be an exciting second quarter on the way, but we'll take a quick break and come back. This is Waterbury Boys High School Basketball on DET Sports Media. Welcome back inside the DET Sports Media Broadcast booth as we are ready for two here in this heavyweight fight in the city of Waterbury between Holy Cross and Crosby. The Crusaders with the early lead 19 to 17 as we are underway in this one. His right to work is Holy Cross versus this zone that's been giving them issues for good stretches of the first quarter. Is now with it in the corners, Blaschke picked up his dribble, but now gets it and turned it over. There was Dane and Blaschke, not on the same page, and now Crosby will inbound it to our left, going left to right, and Holy Cross still showing that pressure. But it's broken easily by Crosby. Is now double teamed in the corner as Grubb, swinging it around McCray. Robinson now with it, pulls it back out. Good ball movement here by the Bulldogs, and it leads to a bucket there by McCray. So Holy Cross can take some notes how Crosby's attacking that zone, which is constant movement and passing. Now Holy Cross turns it over, and on the ground with it, McCray able to get up. And Robinson with it will pull it back. Defense retreats. As now McCray pulls it back over to Robinson. Ellis trying to stay hot. Misses on the three, knocked out of bounds, going the other way to Holy Cross. So head coach Ryan Olson for the Crusaders shouting out orders to his team, trying to get some offense going. They switch it up here with Fordham bringing it up as the point man, now getting it to the wing. To Parker, Parker driving baseline, drop off pass, but missing on the layup attempt. And now a putback off the offensive board is Parker, and he'll head to the free throw line for a chance at three. So McCray picking up the foul, now checking in his Schofield for the Bulldogs, giving Anderson a rest. It's now one shot for Parker. And it's up and no good 
Rolls around the rim. And Robinson comes down with the board. Now McCray picks up his dribble. Grubb in a tough spot, no man's land, able to get rid of it. And now a fight for it, last touched by... Looks like Holy Cross. So it'll stay this side of the court as a substitution as Nevin Kinsey checks in for the first time for Crosby. He's trying to get his starters arrest as head coach Nick Audjelly. And now McCray crosses the timeline and gets them into their offense. Robinson swinging it around, Grubb mishandling the pass. And now Robinson straight away three leaves it short. Gets his own miss though. Now drives middle, kicks. Crosby able to swing it around, but the defense right there and a steal from Blaschke. Blaschke looking to push, nice spin and in for Parker. So Parker first player in double figures for either team. And the lead now three for Holy Cross. Is now near steal, knocked out of bounds, last touch by Holy Cross. So Crosby starting to have some trouble with this press but able to keep possession underneath their own basket. So Robinson inbounds it. Grubb takes the three, no good. The Schofield gets the rebound, misses on the putback, and Holy Cross comes the other way with it. Up ahead now, spin move. Up, no good. But another offensive board, it would seem, for the Crusaders as it ends up in the hands of Dane. Dane now getting it inside. Fordham with the bucket. And he'll head to the free throw line for a chance at three. So Grubb with his first foul of the game as he'll take a seat. Arrington checking back into the game for him. As Grubb just hasn't found his stroke early you remember a few games ago against Woodland, he had seven first quarter three balls as the free throw is no good. And now McCray pushes. Now a little floater from the free throw line, no good. And Holy Cross comes down with the rebound. It's now a five-point lead for the Crusaders as they turn it over as the pace is quickened in this game. McCray with it now. Nearly threw it away, but now Arrington pulls the three and hits. So Arrington's first bucket of the game is a big one as it cuts the lead to three and stops Holy Cross from going on a run here. As they get back into their offense, Parker with it up top. And he throws it away. Last touch by nobody. And going the other way with it are the Bulldogs with four and a half to play. Holy Cross, substitution number 14, Kevin Matisse. As Matisse checking back into the game for Blaschke. Still take a seat. Holy Cross still showing pressure versus Crosby, and we'll see if the youth can take it. Is now met by a host of defenders there, and turning it over is Kinsey, and coming back the other way with it is Holy Cross, as Mullins had the pressure there, and now driving in, slicing through the defense, and able to finish home is Fordham. And he's up to eight. The lead is up to four. It's now a dangerous pass. Robinson with it. Able to slip past the defender and hit the deuce for his eighth point. And now quickly back the other way. Fordham dishes it off. Parker misses the bunny but gets his own miss. And Parker able to get the bucket in a chance at a three-point play. As back and forth we go. There's a couple of substitutions. Benjamin back into the game for the Bulldogs as well as Gunthrop for the Crusaders. And to the free throw line. Again goes Parker as that's the seventh team foul on Crosby. So free throws the rest of the half for Holy Cross as the free throw is good. There's now pressure in the backcourt. Broken by Crosby. Schofield, one man to beat, and he does for the bucket. So the lead three, now inside, blocking foul. Tough call there is really Parker had lost control of the ball already, but Arrington picks up the foul nonetheless 
And to the free throw line for one and one. Back to the line is Parker. Elijah Parker to the line, shooting. So now one and one, no good on the front end was Parker. Now Crosby, two on three, pulling it anyways was Arrington, skying in, trying to get his own miss, but nothing doing. With Gunthrop on the board, as now Parker dribbles into a couple of defenders, nearly loses it. Is now settling up top as Holy Cross and Parker able to find some space inside. Nearly an own goal from Robinson, but he comes down with the defensive board. It's now Benjamin nearly throws it away. Schofield now with it. Skip pass to Robinson. Thought about taking the shot was Arrington. Is now tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Fordham. Staying this side of the court right underneath us to inbound. Or no, coffin corner inbound for the Bulldogs. Underneath us to our right. Is now to the scores table, Roberts. Checking back into the game. Coming in for Fordham. Is now with three minutes to play. A three point lead for Holy Cross. As now Robinson pulls from deep and he's able to hit. So Robinson, his first three ball of the night, ties us up at 30, under three to play. Holy Cross walking it back the other way, right to left. It's now point man, Matisse, and now throwing it away. And hold on, official underneath Andrew Magazine. Says last touch by Crosby. And staying this side of the court, Holy Cross will inbound it right at the Crosby Crosby's bench. Is now Terrell Taylor, Taylor checking back into the game, giving Schofield a rest. Schofield giving good minutes for the Bulldogs with two points off the bench. Is now Holy Cross inbounds. Parker not afraid to pull. Leaves it short, though. Taylor with the rebound just checking into the game. Now McCray looking to push cut off corner now Robinson pull up Jimmy no good sent it long and now back the other way is Parker nobody picking it up as he hands it off to Gunthrop Mullins pulls from deep way off right and now McCray looking to push three on two for the Bulldogs and McCray takes advantage with the lay in as Crosby retakes the lead dangerous cross court pass now for Holy Cross Parker Dribbles around the defense, takes a trip. Now gets it in the corner to Roberts. And nearly turns it over. But it's knocked out of bounds by Arrington with smothering defense there from the Bulldogs. But it'll stay this side of the court with 146 to play in the half. Now Gunthrop inbounds the receives the inbounds, I should say. Crosby waits in this 3-2 zone. Pull for Gunthrop up, no good on the three ball. Tipped away from Taylor. McCray coming back the other way with it. McCray now double team, leaves his feet and gets it to Taylor. Benjamin floater leaves it way short. Can't touch it though. And out of bounds. Back the other way. His substitutions Dane and Fordham back into the game. As Curtis Ellis back into the game for the Bulldogs. Giving Benjamin a rest. Is now walking it up is Parker. Over to Fordham as they get into their offense, trying to find space first. This zone. Dangerous pass there. Now corner Roberts. Three balls up and it rattles home. Edwin Roberts now six points on the night. As now Ellis and McCray play catch. McCray pull up three is good. Answers right back. So McCray, big minutes off the bench for the Bulldogs. Now up to eight. As Holy Cross back the other way with it. Under a minute to play. Roberts left in the corner. Holy Cross trying to find some space versus this zone. Winthrop under 30 seconds to play with it underneath. 
Fordham three ball, leaves it short. Offensive board, Winthrop steps through the D and is able to lay it home. So now the pressure remains, clock still runs, 10 seconds. Dangerous pass and it's tipped out of bounds from Dane. As Robinson didn't meet it. Now McCray will inbound it right underneath us at near the half court line, 6.6 .6 seconds remaining. Crosby tied up with Holy Cross, but they have possession. Chance to go into the half with the lead. Now Robinson receives it, pulls up from deep, leaves it off, hits the rim a couple of times, too many or else it might have been tipped in by Ellis in the heave. No good. And that is the half as we head to the locker rooms all knotted up. And what's been an entertaining first half is Crosby and Holy Cross, 35 apiece. As we'll take a break for the half and come back for the start of the third quarter. This is DET Sports Media on YouTube.
Welcome back inside the DET Sports Media Broadcast booth. Thank you for watching live on YouTube or wherever you may be watching on the various means that we are broadcasting. As we are all knotted up after 16 minutes of play, all tied up here at 35 apiece in what's been a heavyweight matchup between two teams on the top half of the standings of the Naugatuck Valley League. As the 12 and 2 Holy Cross Crusaders and the 8 and 6 Crosby Bulldogs will have another 16 minutes to settle everything. As this game being led by both teams by Elijah Parker with 13 points on the night, second leading scorer of the night for both teams and leading man for Crosby, who else but Jason Robinson with 11. Meanwhile, for the Bulldogs, Andre Arrington, Curtis Ellis, Terrell Taylor, Martin Schofield, and C.J. McCray holding down the scoring for the Bulldogs. Meanwhile, for Holy Cross on the score sheet, Peyton Mullins, Duran, Fordham, Jordan Gunthrop, and Edwin Roberts all with some buckets in this game to keep pace as with now less than 90 seconds to play until the start of the second half. And what should be a fun game, both teams in unfamiliar territory. As most of the year, the average margin of victory for these teams has been in the 20s. Crosby, 25.9 points per game average margin of victory. And Holy Cross, meanwhile, 16.8 points per game margin of victory on the season. And Crosby falling to Sacred Heart and, or sorry, Holy Cross's season opener by seven back up on the other side of town on the 2nd of December in what feels like ages ago. But we're less than a minute to play here and we'll come back with you for the start of the second half. Again, thank you for watching on YouTube. This is DET Sports Media Broadcast. sounds and the huddle breaks as Crosby will have the opening possession of the second half as they'll inbound it right underneath us as Jason Robinson will receive the rock from the ref and we are underway back here in the second half all knotted up at 35 apiece in a heavyweight battle between two Waterbury schools it's now getting us started Ellis quick trigger three no good fight for it is Fordham coming down with it and now pushing it up ahead is Holy Cross. Parker drops it off to Fordham. Now pump fake Mullins pull up corner two is good. So Holy Cross still showing that backcourt pressure. Ellison McCray playing catch McCray starting the second half for the Bulldogs. So Arrington pulls up from three no good as Robinson hits the deck and a foul on Holy Cross. So Mullins too aggressive on the box out, picks up the foul. First of the half for both teams. He's now underneath. Ellis will inbound a dangerous pass, gets it to Arrington. As Arrington pulls it back to Robinson. Robinson makes his move, drives in, lots of contact, late whistle. And Robinson will head to the free throw line for a pair. So Dane picks up his second foul of the night. Jason Robinson to the line, shooting two. To the stripe is Robinson for a pair. As we're less than a minute into the second half, Crosby trailing by two. Robinson first free throws up and good. He'll have a second crack at it. Yeah. 
And the second one's up and good for Jason Robinson to tie this thing up at 37 with seven to play. Because now it's tipped out of bounds. McCray, good hands. The Holy Cross will keep possession right in front of their own bench. So both teams still feeling each other out early in the second half. As Crosby's still in a zone. Looks like it's a 2-1-2 two -two at the moment. As Robinson now leaks up and drops back down. Holy Cross trying to figure it out. They swing it up top. And there goes Mullins now trigger in the corner. No good on the three ball attempt. It was Parker. But a turnover inside. Zach Blaschke with the turnover traveled. Picked up his pivot. Good call there by the ref. Now back the other way. Crosby ball. It's now the 2-2-1 pressure for Holy Cross remains. The 10 count starts as it's inbounded to McCray. Now Ellis double teamed. He's in trouble. And looks like we have a call here. And we'll see about this one. And a foul on Holy Cross, a bailout there. So Parker picks up his second foul of the night. A tough call there. Crosby will keep possession. And now crossing the timelines, McCray with new life. Holy Cross waits in their own zone as we have dueling zones here in the NVL. This was a bad pass there from Ellis. Kick ball, but it'll stay this side of the court. It's now substitution. Ellis coming out of the game. Benjamin coming back in. As the shot clock resets on the kick ball. As inbounding it from the corner in front of their own bench is Benjamin. Nowhere to really go with it. And now get, finds Robinson wide open inside. An easy deuce. Can't leave him alone. He's up to 15 now. And now quickly cut off, and now finding space is Parker. Holy Cross looking to swing it around, but Fordham stops in the middle. Corner three is up no good long from, Bl from Blaschke. And it looks like Robinson was on the end line when he touched the ball fighting for the rebound, so it'll stay this way. Mullins inbounds. Dane now swings it out. Mullins with it in the corner as they pull it out to Blaschke. Parker now with it. Back to Mullins, thought about a three. Now takes this one, high arcing, three balls up and good. So Peyton Mullins, second three ball of the night, gives the Crusaders the lead. 40 to 39, five and a half to play. Dangerous long pass by McCray, but it's received from Arrington. Now Arrington, careless. Fumbles that one out of bounds, and Holy Cross takes possession back with the one-point lead. So a dead ball turnover. Cross be able to set their zone up. Parker crosses the timeline. It's now inside. Nice entry pass to Fordham, but it's swatted away from a pair of Bulldogs. Last touch by them, so it'll stay this side. So Fordham gets the inbound pass, tries to create some space, lost it inside, turns it over. Robinson comes away with it. Now looking to push, crosses over inside, and gets right by the defender for the deuce. Is now quickly back the other way. Is Parker, Robinson, a little bit too aggressive on the check. The second team's first. And Holy Cross will take possession right underneath us. First team foul on the Bulldogs with a one point lead. Now Mullins and Blaschke play catch. Mullins tries another three this side of the court. No good, Robinson another rebound. And McCray pushing up ahead. McCray now, three ball straight away, no good. Big rebound from Benjamin, though, offensive board. He kicks it back outside to McCray. Robinson alone with it, gets it to Benjamin. 
He's left alone now. Three balls up, no good. Arrington, another offensive board for the Bulldogs. Holy Cross able to set their zone back up. So Crosby moving it around, looking to find some space, but tipped away partially, it would seem. Off that three ball attempt, no good, but an offensive board from Taylor. So the foul is on Dane, or sorry, Blaschke, his first. Now Taylor off the offensive board, off of the partially blocked shot, heading to the free throw line for a pair. First free throw is up and good for Taylor. As Matisse checking back into the game as well as Roberts. Number 14, Kevin Matisse. And number 23, Kevin Roberts. As Dane and Blaschke take a rest. And the second free throw on the way for Taylor. As he's able to nail both of them. So Crosby remaining perfect from the free throw line. Here in this game, opening up a three-point lead with 3.53 to play in this third quarter. He's now picking up his dribble as Roberts gets it back in the corner. But too far in the corner, stepped on the end line. And an unforced turnover there for the Crusaders as Crosby gets possession back. Holy Cross looking to set up that full-court pressure again. That's why these defensive rebounds off of misses are so important for Crosby. It's now the pull-up jumper, no good from Robinson. Rebounded from Fordham, he'll push. Drives in, discards the defender. Elijah Ball Parker. ends up right in the hands of Elijah Parker. And he's able to lay it in and cut the lead to one. So backcourt Benjamin breaks the pressure. Taylor now back to his guard. And McCray sets up. McCray pull-up jumper just inside the three-point line. And a rebound by Dane. And Batiste will jog it up and get it to his main man, Parker, leading scorer for the Crusaders with 15. As he tries a deep three, no good. Dane with the offensive board, no good, but then tipped in by Fordham. So Fordham now in double figures with 10. Tolly Cross reclaims the lead, 44 to 43, as Taylor Unsure what to do with it, gets it to Arrington. Arrington misses on the three ball. Offensive board by Robinson, a fight for it, but Matisse able to rip it away. And Holy Cross looking to push. Matisse back in the backcourt, left alone, and now Dane with his first bucket of the night. Extends Holy Cross's lead to three, so back and forth we go. 2.20 to play in the third quarter. Robinson with it to our left. Nice jab, step to discard the defender, and throws it right to Holy Cross. Breakaway alone, and laying it in is Parker. So Parker tying Robinson as the leading scorer for the game. Now it's 17 apiece for both of those men. As now Robinson trapped in the corner, turns it over again. And it's now Fordham, the fingertip dunk. 12 on the night for him, lead up to seven. And Nick Augelli calling the timeout. He is upset on the sideline as we'll take a break and talk things over. This is Waterbury Boys High School Basketball on DET Sports Media. Welcome back inside the DET Sports Media Broadcast booth as the huddles break and Crosby with a new look lineup checking into the game. Vaughn Grubb, Martin Schofield for the first time this half as Robinson takes a seat for the first time in the game. There's a one-man backcourt pressure 
for Holy Cross as they sink back into that trapping zone. Now McCray floater rolls it over the top of the rim. And McCray is into double figures now at 10. Lead down to five as Roberts walks it up. Now slapped away, nearly turned over. Trying to find space in the zone. Fordham throws it right to Benjamin. Now McCray looking to push one-on-one. -on -one, throws it off glass. Tried to get some contact. Nothing doing. And now one man to beat in a tough call there. But a good foul by Martin Schofield to save the slam. And we'll see if he was in the act of shooting. And he was. So two free throws here is Deron Fordham. Fordham with two free throws. So only the second team foul on Crosby with 73 seconds to play in the third quarter. Meanwhile, four on Holy Cross, all coming really within the first few minutes of the third quarter as the first free throw is up and good for Fordham as Robinson coming back into the game for McCray after the short rest to regather himself after a couple of bad turnovers from the senior big man. As now the second free throw is up, no good. Grubb coming down with the board. And Crosby trying to find some space. The trap waiting for him right when he crosses the timeline, but they're able to break it. Benjamin now, three ball left open, no good. Schofield, or sorry, Andre Arrington, offensive board and put back. And the lead is four. With under a minute to play, dangerous pass there. Parker now pulls it back right at the nail. Drives out of space. Shuffled that foot and a travel there. Doing too much with it was Elijah Parker. And the ball will go back the other way to the Bulldogs. Chance to cut into this Holy Cross lead. Is now to the scorer's table. Back into the game is Peyton Mullins. Now giving Parker a rest after a bad turnover there. It's now Crosby, 41 seconds to play, back the other way with it. Here comes the trap. Arrington running out of space, now getting it to Robinson. Skip pass to Benjamin. Now another skip pass. Arrington, three balls, good. So Andre Arrington cutting the lead to one. 21 seconds to play in the third quarter. And an entertaining game here in the city of Waterbury. It's now Gunthrop into Mullins in the corner. Holy Cross swinging it around versus 3-2 zone for the Bulldogs. Now Robinson bites. Mullins pulls it back. Now pull up inside the three-point line. No good. Benjamin at the buzzer heaves it. Nowhere close, but that'll take us to the end the of three. It's Crosby with a nice run to end the third quarter, cutting the lead to one, 51-50. to As we have one more eight-minute session to play as we'll take a quick break before the start of it. This is Waterbury Boys High School Basketball on DET Sports Media. Welcome back inside the DET Sports Media Broadcast booth. As we have a good one here, the final eight minutes of basketball. Possibly more, we'll see as we're in a close one, 51-50 Holy Cross with the lead here on Crosby as they are into their offense at our right. As they swing it around versus this Crosby zone, which has been giving them fits in the half court for a majority of this contest. It's now ripped away. Grubb coming up with the ball. And it's poked away from another Bulldog. I believe it was Robinson as he floats it into Arrington. And now a turnover there from Schofield as he intercepted it from his own man. And took a couple steps with it. 
on his way to the basket. So a turnover there. 30 seconds elapsed in this fourth quarter. Holy Cross now with the ball, nursing a one-point lead. Now crossing the timeline is Roberts. As he charges inside, blocked away though by Benjamin. Comes up with the ball. So a good play there from Andre. And it's now, sorry, Jaden Benjamin, my bad. And now a nice wraparound pass by Arrington as Benjamin pulls it back out. Grubbs swings it. Arrington to the corner. Schofield corner three is good. So Martin Schofield, five points on the night, and Crosby retakes the lead by two, 53 to 51. Now Matisse pressured by three Bulldogs, able to get rid of it. Now Holy Cross trying to find some space as Crosby swarms. There's a dangerous pass there, nearly poked away. Foot on the line, two. There by Roberts is a nice drop-off pass. And Gunthrop able to, able to hit the deuce and tie this game up with six and a half to play. Now Crosby breaks the pressure in the half court. Schofield over to Grubb. Open three ball, good, and the foul. So on Grubb, first bucket of the game here with 6.14 remaining in the fourth quarter. As Gunthrop got too close to Grubb there on the contest. As now substitutions, Fordham and Parker coming back in the game for Matisse and Gunthrop and to the line for a chance at a four point play is Vaughn Grubb for the Bulldogs. As he settles, shoots, and connects. So Vaughn Grubb, four on the night, and you just saw all of them. As Crosby's lead opens up to four, 57 to 53. There's now a dangerous pass there from Holy Cross. Driving in is Parker. A couple of steps. Now the three ball from the corner was no good, but an offensive board from Fordham, and he puts it up through the contact as Jason Robinson picks up the foul. Fordham heading to the free throw line to make it an old-fashioned three-point play. As the free throw is up and butter, is now 16 on the night for Fordham. Lead is down to one, and back and forth we go. There's another turnover there. Pressure given fits to the Bulldogs. Lay in for Mullins, and the lead is back in the Crusaders' hands as Peyton Mullins in double figures now with 10. 58-57 Holy Cross. Crosby breaking the pressure this time, but a wild pass inside, unaidably handled by Schofield, and quickly back the other way. It's Holy Cross, but turned over for Mullins, and a foul there on Parker on the loose ball foul. As he argues, but a good call from the officials. He did not give Robinson a place to land on the steal. So now Grubb coming out of the game. McCray back in. Schofield out. Taylor in. So the Bulldogs will go with close to their starting five here for the final five and a half, at least for now. Now Holy Cross in the backcourt with that diamond pressure. Crosby able to go back and forth and break it. Now inside, Taylor able to finally wrestle the ball away in traffic and hit six points on the night for the big man. And now Crosby back up by one. Fordham now reverse and a sweet move there from Fordham and he is cooking here in the second half. Holy Cross retakes the lead as we have a whole lot of lead changes in this one. Need more than two hands to count them. Is near travel there from McCray. Three balls up by Three. Arrington. Arrington. And Arrington now in double figures. And Crosby back up by two. Is now a wild cross court pass. Driving in Robinson, reverse, no good. Offensive rebound by Parker. Puts it up, no good, but Taylor with the foul. So Elijah to the line, a place he's been comfortable today with a chance to tie this game up if he hits them both. 
at the scores table for Crosby. Raekwon Anderson set to check in as the first free throws up and no good. So that's my first broadcaster jinx, ladies and gentlemen. It's official. As they'll have a second attempt at it now. Barker puts it up and misses both. So bad time to miss a pair for Elijah Parker as the lead stands at two for Crosby as McCray crosses the timeline. Now Benjamin inside to Anderson. Anderson lays it up and in. Great Quan Anderson through the defense up and in for the layup. Is now Crosby up by four with four to play. Holy Cross swinging it at the top of the key. Now open look for Parker. Might have been tipped, and it was Robinson coming away with it. As now Crosby has some numbers if they push. As now Arrington pulls it out, but gets it to the air, uh, Robinson. Or sorry, a Anderson, I should say. So that was Arrington on the pass. And now here comes a double team timeout. Smart play there from McCray as they will huddle up and talk things over. 30 second timeout, we'll take a quick break as the pace has quickened and I will catch my breath. This is Waterbury Boys High School Basketball on YouTube. So an entertaining fourth quarter as we welcome you back inside the DET Sports Media Broadcast booth. Is now a host of players in double figures. Elijah Parker ain't alone no more on his team as Peyton Mullins and Deron Foreman, Fordham, excuse me, join him in the double digits club. Meanwhile, Crosby, Jason Robinson, Andre Arrington, and CJ McCray in double figures for the Bulldogs. They will have possession right underneath us. 337 to play, nursing a four point lead versus Holy Cross. His side out now for the Bulldogs in the backcourt receiving it is McCray. So Holy Cross able to set up their little trap press as Robinson now drives baseline. Arrington, quick trigger, corner threes, up and good. So Andre Arrington heating up from long distance here in the fourth quarter. Crosby's lead up to seven as they stay in that zone. Holy Cross trying to find some space in it. Is now a lob up inside, blocked away by Robinson, but retrieved by Parker, able to put it in for the lay-in. So the big block by Robinson, dangerous pass there from McCray. As they play catch with it, crossing the timeline with it's McCray, knifes through, Arrington tries again, corner three, in and out. Anderson with the board, slapped out of bounds by Matisse, and it'll stay this side of the court. Crosby possession, 2.50 to play in the fourth quarter. So now we have a timeout on the floor. Holy Cross wants to talk things over on this defensive set, 32nd timeout. We'll take a quick break as well. See you in a second. Welcome back inside the DET Sports Media Broadcast booth. Crosby nursing a five-point lead at the moment versus Holy Cross under three minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. As Crosby looks to avenge one of their losses earlier in the season versus Holy Cross on the road back in early December. As now Benjamin will inbound it underneath. Anderson receives it. Anderson doesn't know what to do with it. Now nearly poked away, and it is, but Anderson's able to retrieve it again. Now he gets it to Benjamin. Benjamin driving, pocket pass to Anderson. Anderson too aggressive on the take. And an offensive foul, so tough call there. As the feet might have been moving, but the ref saw the sloppy possession and rewarded the defense there. As now Roberts 
back the other way with it for Holy Cross as he'll jog it up, crossing the timeline left to right. As McCray extends that zone out a little bit and Crosby packs that paint. Is now another lob inside, unable to handle it was Fordham, but Matisse coming down with the board. It's now a no look pass inside, Parker left alone. Now Parker over the 20 point threshold with 21, lead three, 206 to play. It's now straight man to man for Holy Cross. And we have a foul here on Parker. And we'll see about it. That might be his fourth. So, so that's Parker's fourth foul. So he has to be careful with two and two minutes to play in this game. As Crosby now in the bonus. McCray shooting one and one here. McCray's first trip to the free throw line, up and good on the first. So McCray now with 11, chance to make it 12. And grow the lead out back up to five. As McCray settles for the second, up and in. So good free throw shooting by the Bulldogs tonight. It's come in handy in a close affair. As the lead is five with under two minutes to play. Crosby remains in that zone. Holy Cross trying to find something inside. Poked away, nearly stolen by the top of the zone. It's now inside to Fordham. Parker trying to find some space, but now Roberts with it. Fordham outside. Now good pass by Matisse. Touch pass, no good on the shot though is Roberts. And Arrington came down with the defensive rebound. 90 seconds to play now in the game. McCray in the backcourt still. Now crosses the timeline. Being met tightly. Five second count starts. Too aggressive though there by Fordham. And he picks up the bailout foul. And to the free throw line. McCray will head for the one and one opportunity. So now McCray back to the free throw line, and that's what's going to do it for Crosby is free throws. It's just going to come down to make or miss at the end of this one. As the first one is up, and it rattles in for McCray, able to hit the front end of that one and one trip. And the lead is six, chance for seven here. The second shot is up and no good by McCray. First missed free throw the night for the Bulldogs. Holy Cross looking to push. Parker corner three, no good. Tried to sell the contact. And now Arrington with the board and he is fouled. And now we'll walk down to the other side of the court for another one and one opportunity for the Bulldogs with 66 seconds to play. So now Arrington at the free throw line, one and one, so it's a live ball situation. First free throw is up and no good. So two straight misses after a perfect start for the Bulldogs, and it's tipped out by Benjamin. Crosby able to keep possession. 30-second timeout on the floor for Holy Cross with 66 seconds to play in this fourth quarter. Crosby, six-point lead. We'll take a quick break and come back for the conclusion of this one. This is Waterbury Boys High School Basketball on YouTube. So Holy Cross's huddle breaks first as we welcome you back into the DET Sports Media Broadcast booth. They know what they have to do. 
They have to hit shots and hope Crosby misses their free throws down the stretch. Or get some turnovers as there's plenty of time to trap still. The problem is no shot clock in the Naugatuck Valley League. So the foul game is all important. Now Holy Cross into their offense. Wasting a lot of time trying to find a shot. But now straight away for Parker. No good. Skying up for the rebound and fighting for it. As now Crosby will keep, will take possession away. An inbounder right in front of the Holy Cross bench. 47 seconds to play. Into the game, Blaschke back in for Parker, who has four fouls. So they'll play some offense defenses, hoping that Parker doesn't foul out here on the defensive end. As now Crosby pulling the pressure, or looking to see if they can break the pressure. Side out of bounds play. Robinson receives it, no problem. Now he's double teamed, but a physical foul. Here is Crosby. We'll head back to the free throw line. Number 14, Kevin Matisse. So Matisse picks up the foul, his second. Tenth team foul now. So Jason Robinson, two free throws. The rest of the way for Crosby. And if the Bulldogs can hold on, this would be a big win for them as their schedule does not lighten up for the next couple of games. As the first free throw for Robinson is up and good. For Robinson is now substitutions back in for the Crusaders. A little offense defense for Coach Olsen. Uh, but up next for Crosby, at Wilby, then Career Academy, and then at Kennedy. So the meat of the schedule versus the Waterbury schools for the Bulldogs in the home stretch is now the second free throws up and in for Robinson. Up to 19 on the night. And now Crosby will take a timeout. 30 seconds. We won't go anywhere. So up next for Holy Cross, meanwhile, a lighter schedule as they face Conard, an out-of-conference game out of West Hartford at their home gymnasium, but then face Wilby, Watertown, and Derby all on the road. So if you're going to take it with a grain of salt, that's it because a relatively easy last two games for the Crusaders to finish off the schedule and head into the postseason. But that's all if they can hold on, that being the Bulldogs, up eight with 43 and a half seconds remaining. Holy Cross is going to need a lot to come back in this one. As it looks like Coach Jelly will draw up some backcourt pressure to try to get Holy Cross out of their rhythm and maybe force an arid shot instead of one that they would have liked to try to start this comeback. So now Crosby a little bit of backcourt pressure as they fall right back into that zone. Parker with it up top. Now Winthrop to Mullins. Checked tightly though. Is now Fordham straight away three. Back iron no good. Arrington defensive rebound. And if that's on Parker, that's his fifth. Holy Cross five to zero. And it is. So Parker fifth foul on the night leading score on the night as well with 21 now we'll see maybe they took one of the fouls away and no there's the signal fifth foul on Parker so Crosby pulls all their players off of the blocks is now Blaschke will check in for him, but Arrington waiting at the free throw line. He'll have a pair. He'll have a chance to make this a double-digit lead for Crosby late with 27 seconds to go. Now the first one's up, rattles, in and out. That is now the second free throw is up for Arrington and good. So 15 on the night for Arrington. A good showing for the senior guard. As now Holy Cross pushes. Blaschke over to Roberts. Now Fordham tries the corner three. High arcing shot. No good. Big board from Jason Robinson. But he dribbles it off his foot. So a turnover here for the Bulldogs. Holy Cross trailing by nine. Mullins will inbound it underneath. But with 13 seconds to play as the three balls up and good from Gunthrop as he's in the double figures now. 
the lead is six. Robinson's fouled in the backcourt intentionally here, and he'll take the long walk to the free throw line with 4.8 remaining. Is that foul is on Matisse? Sorry, that's on Gunthrop. Gunthrop with his second foul of the night. Well into the bonus are the Bulldogs. Two free throws for Crosby. And this should just about do it for the final result of this game. As Robinson now up to 20 with that free throw. As he's now scored 1,020 points in his Crosby career. Make that 1,021 for the senior big man for the Bulldogs. And three, two, one, Mullins pulls. Good if it goes, it rims out, and that will do it. As a final score, Crosby, 75. Holy Cross, 67, as the Bulldogs avenge a loss early in the season versus these same Crusaders. Leading scorer on the night, tied with one other person, but leading scorer nonetheless for the Bulldogs, Jason Robinson, 21 in the night. Andre Arrington, 15. Curtis Ellis with nine. CJ McCray with 13 big points off the bench. Vaughn Grubb with four. Martin Schofield with five. And Terrell Taylor with six. Holy Cross, meanwhile, will drop to 12 and three overall. Elijah Parker's 21 points, not enough. Followed by Durant and Fordham with 18 points, Jordan Gunthrop with 10, Edwin Roberts with 6, Peyton Mullins with 10, and Joe Dane with 2. As it wasn't enough as Crosby pulled ahead late, able to improve their record to 9 and 6 and avenge a loss against a good team in the conference. So once again, folks, Crosby coming away with the victory 75-67 to over Holy Cross. And that will do it for us. This is Dave Woodruff signing off for DET Sports Media. You can check us on YouTube anytime and on Waterbury Public Access Channel 16 in the city. We'll check you later. This is Waterbury Boys High School Basketball.